Today, we are going to review a new 6K 50 frame per second 3D VR 180 camera right here. Compared to Canon or the Insta360 EVO, this one you don't need to stitch. You can even edit the VR 180 free in the cloud using your VR headset and you can also go live with it on Pico or the new MetaQuest social app in 6K 50 frames per second. This camera is called Kelf. We have tested on a gimbal in the legendary Paramount Studio Hollywood, filming the Cinegear 2023. The camera is as small as a consumer mirrorless. It fit nicely on my new Ziyun Crane M3S. It is bigger than Insta360 Evo though, and featured two 34mm diameter custom fisheye lens. They are just slightly smaller than the Canon dual fisheye lens. A camera lens diameter matter because the larger it is, the more light it will let in. The more light collecting power, the higher the image resolution and the brighter the image. A smaller camera lens therefore produce a dimmer image. The lens size always affects the image quality. Here are the key specs of Kelf. I would say this video is more a first look of Kelf instead of an in-depth review. One thing that jumps out to me immediately is the ease of use. This camera is designed for influencer and live streamer or than videographers. So it is very easy to use and requires no stitching or post-production. Everything can be controlled on the super large back LED screen. It uses Canon LP6 battery, same as the Canon R5. It can attach a USB-C mic like the Zoom A3 VR right here for ambisonic capture or a 3.5mm jack for a lav mic like the Rode Wireless Me. It has 4 quarter inch mount for accessory on all 4 sides. It uses a regular size SD card. The design is very minimum with a full metal body. It does have a fence to keep the camera cool during live stream, but it is pretty quiet, even with a fence on. The back LED also allows Stitch 3D video playback in side-by-side -side mode. You can even upload it on their cloud directly and view it immediately inside a VR headset like the MetaQuest. Cut out the entire post-production workflow. The MetaQuest app currently on App Lab also supports simple VR 180 video editing. The idea is to cut out Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve entirely, edit it in camera or in an app on MetaQuest or Pico using cloud-based computing and release it on VR social media directly, which hopefully will be on the upcoming Apple Vision Pro. My bro! Spatial computing will be the future of social media and Calf want to be one of the first. Let's step back. Who is Kelf? Well, they are not a nobody. They are actually a branch of a very well-known social media in China called Changba. Direct translation is karaoke club. They have 600 million registered users and average 10 million active users per month. It is a karaoke social media app, kind of like Musical.ly, but not lip sync, real singing. Now, they want to do exactly that, live stream VR in the metaverse, and this is their camera to do so. When you look at the capture footage, one thing that stands out immediately is the missing top and bottom section. It replaces it with this stretch edge pixel thing right here. If you film outside like a blue sky, it will blend it for you really well, but most of the time for close up, you will have missing feet. The camera used the same technique to blend left and right lens as well to have full 180 instead of a lens mask. So you lost 10 degrees top and bottom but gained 10 degrees left and right. What does it look like in VR headset though? Let's take a look inside my MetaQuest Pro. This is a direct camera capture in 6K 50 frames per second. 
Ace.264 silo it onto my MetaQuest Pro. It is the first camera I tested will immediately play back in MetaQuest TV app without any stitching, transcoding, or meta data injection. And the 6K image quality in 50 frames per second is just about to saturate 100% of the playback ability of MetaQuest 2 or Pico Neo 4. It looks good. The stereo is very comfortable. It handles close up very good without making me cross eye. There is absolutely no vertical disparity, and the stereo is perfectly calibrated in camera level. Even the size is good in the stereo dead zone. There is a lens blend here, but you don't really notice it, so really give us back the full 180 degrees left and right. And missing top and bottom are slightly distracting, but it is a small area and does not really bother me that much. The dynamic range is not as good as Canon, but it's expected as it is only a 1 or 2.3 inch sensor, not a full frame like the Canon R5C. 50 frames per second looks a lot better when there is close up motion compared to 30 frames per second. Worth to mention, it is a pain in the butt to shoot 8K 60 frames per second in the Canon RAW on the R5C. And most creators settle in 30 frames per second because the processing is so intense on the Canon RAW 60 frames per second footage. It is refreshing to know I get 50 frames per second smooth playback without any post production from camera to VR headset directly. The camera is not cheap. It costs 1,499 US dollar. So how is the image quality compared to Instar to see Evo and the more expensive Canon EOS R5C with the dual fisheye lens? Well, it cannot be a huge hole review without a side-by-side -side comparison, right? Here, we have our model Kitty and Kimchi. Kimchi mostly just stare at Kitty doing her weird dance. By the way, Kitty has no idea the camera is rolling right here. Anyway, from left to right, we have installed to see Evo, Kelf camera, Canon R5C. We will provide all this side-by-side -side comparison video link in true 6K 3D VR warranty on both YouTube VR and MetaQuest TV. So check it out inside your VR headset. Let's free frame here to check it out. Canon R5C definitely has that cinematic look and the best image quality. The Kelf camera is not as good as the Canon, but pretty darn close to it. Let's zoom in on Kitty's face for 300%. You can immediately see that security camera look on the install to see Evo. It is a digital over sharpening artifacts commonly among action cameras. You can see it better when you pay attention to the outline right here. See her eyebrows? Evo looks very unnaturally sharpened and both Kelf and Canon look more natural. So, a sharp image never mean a good image. The Kelf camera in auto white balance does make the image overly red and overly saturated. So, I would suggest manually white balance your image and turn down the contract and saturation in the image style menu. If you go into the image style menu, you can really fine tune your image, further reduce noise and even add image effects like black and white right here. Black and white actually look really cool in 3D VR 180. Check out our latest on stage episode to see the creative use of black and white in VR 180 music video. Okay, back to the comparison. Let's check out the side. Kimchi is standing at 170 degrees point. Let's zoom in for 100% time. Evo has even more compression artifacts here. You can clearly see it on Kimchi's tail. Also, Kimchi looks fatter in Evo. Hey, don't call me fat. Sorry, Kimchi. The scale look correct in Kelf and in Canon. But Kelf does look darker on the side, a little bit lens veneering, so hopefully they can fix it in the production version. Take a look at the right side, there is a focal chart right here. Zoom in 400%, Kelf camera is very sharp. Wait, it is sharper than Canon? Well, not really. The reason why Canon is soft right here is because the Canon dual fish lens is manual lens. I focus it on Kitty's close-up, so the distant chart is technically not focused. 
It is on purpose to create that cinematic look in VR 180. But it is not good if you do not have someone else to pull focus for you. Kelf, on the other hand, fixed its focus at infinite at Aperture f2.0, so everything is always in focus. It's great for solo creators who just want to set it and forget about it. Next, let's look at very far away, the tree outside of the window. Evo is losing the color and the details due to heavy compression. Kelf can capture both the color and the details better. See the red lifts right here? It's totally lost in the Evo. In conclusion, even though on spec, Kelf only have two 1 over 2.3 inches Sony IMX577 small sensor, its image quality is still pretty good thanks to its very sharp and very large lens. By giving up the top and bottom 10 degrees, it gives Kelf camera a better sensor coverage, so in turn, a better image quality overall. Yes, it is not as good as Canon, a full frame sensor camera, but you do pay what you get. R5C is a lot more expensive than a Kelf camera. Lastly, I want to demo is their free VR Wannity social media app, now available on MetaQuest App Lab and SideQuest. It also called Kelf. It is like TikTok but in 3D 180. There are lots of girls dancing and singing there. I kinda wish I can see more diversity in the upload content. You can give hearts to the creator and trigger this animation. You can leave a voice memo as a comment which is kinda cool. You can even subscribe to the creator for long form content. Kinda like OnlyFans but in VR. Hmm. One thing unique about it, it is all the videos are short, 15 seconds and very scrollable. Just like TikTok, Kelf want to make short form VR 180 popular, which is a very different approach from everybody else. The young generation really have an attention span of a goldfish, so maybe this format of immersive content will work? Well, with the release of Apple Vision Pro, we will have a huge demand of content in the immersive 180 format. So maybe this is one way to meet that demand in a rapid speed? Well, the future of VR 180 is going to be super competitive and exciting. What I have here is still a pre-production unit. I will make a follow-up review when I get my hands on the production unit. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and give this video a big thumb up to support me and Kimchi. We will also go live in 6K VR 180 on Pico using Cal Camera to test out the live stream feature. And I hope to see you inside the Pico VR headset for a live review of this camera. I will put the time and dates in the comment down below. So, see you in VR. Oh, 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 oh,